Now let's bring you stories from the Federal Capital Territory where the Minister, Barrister Yeson Wiki, has pledged strategic support to Nigerian defence in ensuring a successful and secure African military games. The Minister gave this assurance while receiving a delegation led by Chief of Defence Staff Major General Christopher Musa during a courtesy visit in his office. Our FCT State House correspondent Naomi Olerbe has details. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Baris Tanyesom Wike, emphasized that his administration would prioritize the safety and security of all activities related to the Games. He stressed the importance of ensuring that participants return to their home countries with positive impressions of Nigeria. Baris Tawike also noted that the tournament would boost economic activities in Abuja and enhance the city's global image. We have no choice but to give you the necessary support because it is our city that is going to host this international uh, game. So we want to assure you we will fully participate and give you all the necessary support so that it will be a successful uh, uh, event. Uh, what I think we can do do not hesitate to tell us quickly. You know, uh, yes, you know, bureaucracy, but when we start on time, we'll be able to achieve what we want to achieve. In his remarks, Chief of Defense Staff Major General Christopher Musa highlighted the significance of the African military games in showcasing Nigeria, especially the nation's capital, to the world in a positive light. He revealed that over 40 countries will be participating with their armed forces represented in the competition. Abuja is safe. Nigeria is safe. Most people when you travel out, the impression they give over Nigeria is that Nigeria is very hostile. It's a hostile environment. That when you come in, there's a lot of killings and all this. When you notice that Nigeria is more secure than most of these countries that also talk. Nigeria will be the second African country to host the African military games. The event aims to promote international diplomacy, military cooperation, and attract investment opportunities. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.